Hello, I'm Julia Woodman and I'd like to introduce our paper published in the International Journal of Clinical Practice, which is a systematic evaluation of the Alexander Technique as a health intervention. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with it, the Alexander Technique is an established practical method for self-care taught by professionally trained teachers. And previous research has shown that Alexander lessons lead to improved postural muscle activity, coordination, balance and movement skills. Our methodology followed the PRISMA guidelines and we identified 18 studies that met the inclusion criteria and these were then categorised by design and strength of evidence. Three of these were randomised controlled trials. Our main finding was strong evidence for the effectiveness of Alexander lessons in chronic back pain with the strongest evidence coming from a large randomised controlled trial which was well conducted with a low risk of bias. Now in this trial Patients with chronic back pain were randomised to receive either usual GP care or therapeutic massage or either 6 or 24 Alexander Technique lessons. And there were two main outcome measures, both previously validated in this patient population. And these were the Roland Morris Disability Scale and the number of days in pain. Now striking results were observed for the group who received 24 Alexander lessons. And at the one year primary endpoint, this group were experiencing a median of three days of pain out of every 28 days, compared with 21 days of pain out of, out of 28 for the usual GP care group. And similarly, for the Roland Morris Disability Score, the difference between the 24 Alexander group and the usual care group was both clinically and statistically significant. And an interesting finding was that these benefits accrued with time, suggesting that the participants continued to apply what they had learnt in order to help progress their own recovery. And the results for the other groups, uh, along with those for a second smaller randomised back pain trial, can be found in our paper. Now, turning to the third randomised control trial, this showed a significant improvement compared with usual, uh, usual care um, in the disability associated with Parkinson's disease. And based on these findings, the UK National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence recommends that Alexander lessons may be offered to people with Parkinson's in order to help them make adjustments to their lifestyle. Now, the non-randomised studies that we identified covered diverse areas such as balancing the elderly and postural and ergonomic skills. And while the results of these are certainly promising, they clearly require validation in larger clinical trials. Other studies provided evidence for cost-effectiveness of Alexander lessons in back pain, and some qualitative studies um, showed a high degree of acceptability of lessons to both patients and healthcare providers alike. So, what we conclude is that Alexander lessons provided one-to-one -one by a registered teacher are an appropriate um, option to consider for patients with chronic back pain and may also help people to better manage the disability associated with Parkinson's. So we hope you enjoy reading our review.